ladies and gents, it's me again, and if you guys don't know who I am, I am Chesenia, <laughs> and this is a new video brought to you by me, Chesenia. <laughs> um, so, if you guys don't like how I look, that kind of sucks, because I'm not going to do my hair, and I'm not going to do pretty much anything today, because... I'm snowed inside my house, and I don't want to do anything. I just want to uh, <laughs> record videos, but I don't want to get myself like super dressed up because for what? I'm just gonna sit inside my house anyway. There's like 80 feet of snow right now outside. Okay, maybe not like 80 feet. Oh, I'm gonna put some hair down because my head feels like a little too big. Does that look better? Uh, who cares? Anyway. So today's video, guys, is going to be another haul, as you can tell by L title. I recently went to Alta. I know that some of you know that where I work at, but I went to Alta specifically because I had to do one of my friend's makeup for her birthday. And she had recently went out this weekend of her birthday <laughs> so if you're watching happy birthday Nadia um she went out for her birthday and hold on my phone so I needed to pick up a couple of supplies and with that being said I had a coupon for Alta for 20% off and I was thinking to myself well 20% off and I need to get some like supplies like lashes like last minute lashes before I do like a bulk load order online I was like let me just use it and I did and I don't feel like I bought that much stuff but I do feel like I bought in this what I bought like a certain amount that I can possibly share with you guys and it's all in this bag right in here and yes okay I don't feel like I bought a lot of items however there's a lot of items in this baby bag because apparently the girl that was ringing me out just decided that everything would fit in a baby bag like this. And, um, I don't know what, you know, was her issue or anything like that. I don't know what it is. I'm not a huge fan of Alta and not because I just don't like Alta and it's like, ooh, I work at a certain place so I feel like my store is better. It's nothing like that. The main reason why I really don't like to go to Alta is because a lot of the girls there are like really rude around the Alta that I'm at. Um, well, that's around me that I go to. Um, a lot of the girls for some reason are like really rude there. They look at me like if I'm just like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, they're just really rude. Like, they never want to help. They just have constant attitude. They're like pissed off because you have to like ring out or something like that. I don't know what's their issue. So I really don't go to Alta unless I like have to. Or there's like a deal like on NYX or something. I don't know. Whatever. I kind of feel like I'm rambling. I'm actually happy to finally like film a video and I'm not like super out of breath. And I mean I am a little out of breath because I'm talking just like way too fast for my like thing. Some of you may or may not know I was really sick for like the past like I don't know probably like two months. And well at least it felt like two months. And I really couldn't speak without like having like an ass attack after saying like a word so now that I'm able to just blab and blab and blab I'm like ah. <sighs> it's so exciting before I get started with the haul though I want to go ahead and actually name the giveaway winners the first one for the basics palette is cat the truth and I will put her name down here or inside and inside the description box and the flush palette winner is Saida Saida 287 and I don't know how I'm going like this this is probably where the name will go but if I don't insert it here in my imaginary caption thing I will put it I'll list it down below so congratulations ladies you are both my giveaway winners and I'm happy because I was going to do like a separate video but I didn't feel like I should do that I don't know I just feel like I should just incorporate it in the haul because 
What's the point of making like a 30 second video and then making like an 80 minute video? No sake, I'm just kidding, I don't know. So, with that being said, ladies, both of you, please try to inbox me your information, like your um, address, inside a message on YouTube. Or you can go ahead and send your gifts out. And you have approximately at least one week. If not, I will go ahead and pick another winner. It's up to you guys. I don't know. Whatever. But, um, yeah. So, congratulations to you ladies. And for those of you who didn't win this round of giveaways, don't worry. I will be hosting some more, like, right around the corner. So, don't even be bummed by it or anything like that. There's a lot more coming on Hello Justenia's channel. I'm being extra weird today, right? <gasps> I'm not going to go in any specific order. I'm just going to start pulling the items out that she managed to just <laughs> overly stuff in there. So, I'm going to start off with the cotton rounds. Here we go. This is just plain cotton rounds. Um, I didn't get to play with any of these. I specifically got these because I usually get the pour out nail polish remover and I've been using like an old, like not an old, like dirty, but like a unused like type of blanket or like paper towels and they just seem to like soak up the product. They really don't do much of anything and I just feel like I'm wasting more remover rather than like actually taking off the nail polish and I purchased these and I also like these. For my eyes whenever I remove makeup from my eyes sometimes wipes can be just a little rough um, depending which wipes I use but lately I've been using more like the cotton rounds for removing eye makeup next up is this Ulta regular instant nail polish remover which is uh, so cool I've had one of these type of nail polish removers back in the day, and I haven't seen them really since. Um, I know I did just purchase the Josie Marin ones. I like those. I really do like those. They do make your cuticles feel nice and soft right after you um, remove your nail polish due to the argon oil. However, I don't feel like they do the best job in removing, like, reds or like really super deep colors or like glittery colors it just takes forever so I need something that's like fast like this and I did go ahead and use it this says that it's supposed to last up to a year which we will see um but as you can see oh I don't want to ruin my nails that's all right I'm probably gonna paint my nails again after this because I probably just will. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It contains a huge like sponge. I'm scared to like tilt it anymore because if I do like the polish remover will just like fall right out. And it also contains this little metal piece right here. And if you pull it out, it has a toenail one which looks like this. Isn't that cool? And then you just rub it like on your toenails or whatnot and it'll remove the nail polish for you. But um yeah, that's really interesting. I don't know. I like these type of things because they take your nail polish off so fast. It's amazing. But, um, yeah, that's what I purchased. Um, next up are these lashes by Ardell. This is specifically what I went for. Uh, I did purchase a glamorous pair and a, these are the natural pair. The glamorous pair I use on my friend for her birthday. And these are the natural in... 120 Demi, 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 Demi. And that's what they look like. They're really, really nice. I like how flared out in the outer corners they are. They look really natural, and I'm excited to try these babies. Hmm, let's see. I purchased two new nail polishes by Sally Hansen. And you guys, if you guys follow me for a while or just in general, you guys know that I absolutely love Sally Hansen nail polishes. It is like my number one pick for drugstore nail polishes. I love Sally Hansen polishes. Like, oh, I just can't say enough about them. I saw that she came out with her new spring collection and she had a couple of like bright cups. Hello. She had a couple of bright colors and like little glitters and things like that. Um, I saw that the packaging looked a little bit different than the old nail polishes. So I thought maybe she, um, I don't know, reformulated them or something like that. 
and when I tried it on, because I actually have this color on right here, which is called Pep Plum, 230 Pep Plum. And when I tried it on, as soon as I got home, I was absolutely in love. I did my nails yesterday, but she definitely reformulated these for the simple fact that look how shiny my nail is. And I washed two rounds of dishes, washed my hair, took two baths, like did all these types of things. And usually my nails would dull out when I put like hair product or like wash dishes and things like that. But this did not. And this is no top coat. So I am amazed. And you know I am going to go back and get more of these because I just absolutely love the shine that it gave it looks like gel I'm so serious like it just looks like gel next color I purchased is called pucker up which is this really pretty like red color and I thought this would be perfect for spring I feel like it's more like a red orange and I like red orange colors I'm actually right now like on this weird red orangey kick I'm kind of almost obsessed right now I don't know I get like obsessed with things all the time so yeah I purchased this one and I can't wait to paint my nails I'm probably gonna paint my nails this color next up next is this what is this Lee Stafford argon oil from Morocco it's a deep nourishing treatment which is basically for your hair and right now I'm in the mist midst mist uh, of using up my living proof what is it restoring treatment and that thing is just about done but the only thing is I I like it I'm not absolutely in love with it and for $42 um, I need to be in love with it so I'm not going to be repurchasing that right away as of right now but I wanted to try something different and I saw this one and it was only on sale. It was on sale for like $8 so why not? <gasps> and it smells. It smells good though. So it looks like that. I can't wait to try it because <sighs> the smell. It must be like amazing on your strands of hair. But um yeah it says have fun look wicked smell beautiful <laughs> well alrighty then that I shall do when I use this product <laughs> Ooh, then I purchased eh, eh, then I purchased the Revlon H Defiant foundation now they had two colors I was kind of in the fence of which color I should purchase because this one that I purchased is called cool beige and in the bottle it looks like my color because I don't know it looks like really really beigey but now I'm kind of skeptical because in the store it looked in more beige but now that I see it, it does look more of a pinky beige and I'm more of a yellow beige I'm a beige not pinky beige beige is this new physicians formula super CC cream it says CC plus but um I guess it's just basically your CC cream and I got it in the shade light medium and I'm excited to try this because it's a new product I was thinking about doing like a first impressions video um on this because I feel like CC creams right now are like the it thing I actually prefer CC creams over BB creams right now today I have the Stila CC cream yeah, do I? Yeah, I have the Stila CC cream, and so far, so good. I really like it. It's really light, and I don't know. It just looks natural, and it gives, like, a really nice natural, like, coverage to the skin. But, um, yeah, that's what I have on by itself, too. Like, no primer, no powder. I don't even... Did I put powder on my nose? No, I didn't even put powder on my nose. Did I put... No, I didn't. I just have the Stila. I think I just put, like, blush. In no, I didn't because I just put it, like, here and some powder over my concealer. And that's pretty much it. And I didn't even put a lot of concealer today either. But anyways, that defeats the purpose of this video. So, um, yeah, I purchased this bad boy. And this was actually pretty expensive. It was, like, $13, I want to say. 13 pushing, like, 14 somewhere around there. So, I mean, thank God there was like a $3 off coupon, and with my 20% off, it came off a lot, 
came out a lot cheaper but I mean I don't know we'll see I'm gonna try this bad boy and see um how I like it like I said I think I want to do like our first impressions video so I'm gonna try not to open this thing until that video and speaking of Stila I purchased three of their stay all day vine vinyl lip gloss glass gloss yeah lip gloss and hello this are these one <laughs> these are the three that I purchased and the first one is called more low which I've been having my eye on since like day one since they first came out as well as fuchsia which is this really nice pretty bright purple and hot pink because I like the way hot pink looks on me <laughs> um, yeah so I purchased these three three I don't know let me see let's just swatch them let's just open them and swatch them because I am bored and I am happy um so yeah So this is Morla, which is this dupe. I'm gonna wear this next video probably. Cause I love how dark that is. Look how gorgeous that color is. It is technically, like seriously, a Morla color. <laughs> um, that's that shade. Morla. If you guys want a video on these, let me know because I think I might just do it, or I'm just gonna do like a blog post or something like that. Next up is Fuchsia. Let me put this one down. Fuchsia. And this one I really, really like. Every time I'm at work, I swatch this bad boy all the time, which I don't know why I just didn't get it on my job, but whatever. Oh, baby. This one's, like, awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Look at it. It's more of a deeper purple. I thought, like, inside of here, I felt like it looked a little more brighter. I wonder if you can, like, maybe tone it down because these things are, like, super pigmented. But who would want to tone it down considering it is pigmented? <laughs> um, so that's what that one looks like, guys. And again, that one's a fuchsia. And, which is a weird name considering it's purple. Whatever. I'm not, I'm not Stila, so. Whatever. Then the third one is called Hot Pink, which is exactly what it's called, a hot pink shade. Mm. Oh, this looks like, I want to say almost like Candy Yum Yum, or actually like a lip gloss version of like Shocking Pink from NYX, something like that. Maybe if Candy Yum Yum, NYX, and a lip gloss had a baby, that's what probably it would look like yep then I purchased two more of the or two of the naked glasses what naked lip glosses by Urban Decay and this is what the packaging looks like I kind of don't even want to throw the packaging away out because what I don't want to throw the package away because I don't know I really like it but I hate when you know, companies do like cute packaging. But anyways, the first shade is called Liar, and that's what it looks like on the bottom, which I like when companies do that, even though sometimes the bottom swatches don't even look like the actual product itself. <laughs> Just saying. And I thought this was a really pretty color. Just to have like an everyday shade, almost like a mauve shade. Um, but that's what Liar looks like. Oh, I'm sorry. There's like a weird glare. There we go. And the next one is called Love Child, which... <sighs> that's inappropriate, or okay. Um, yeah, so that's what it looks like at the bottom. And this one probably has to be like my favorite because I'm just obsessed with like pink. Pink, pink, pink. And 
that's what that one looks like. They don't have a lot of color payoff, but I do have one prior to purchasing these. And I love, love, love how shiny they are, how smooth and just lightweight they feel. They don't feel overly sticky like most um, lip glosses. And that's why I purchased more just because, you know, there's like some days you want that shine, but you don't want that goopy, really super sticky effect. And I feel like these are like the perfect glosses for that reason. I purchased the Smashbox Wonder Vision set of lip glosses. Set of lip glosses. And these bad boys were on sale for $14. And for $14, I couldn't pass it up. I wanted to purchase another one, but I think I might just go back and get another one because I just love all of the shades that are in here especially this pink one right in here this one's called pout and we sell this at my store however it's like twenty dollars maybe twenty to twenty two dollars for just like a little square one and i don't feel like that you know i feel like i love the color but not that much i don't know but anyways for the fact that you know you can get five glosses for fourteen dollars why not considering one smashbox gloss is like twenty dollars yep you know you're a makeup addict when you can justify the prices on items <laughs> anyways so i'm gonna just swatch these out for you guys um if you guys didn't see them if you guys did then you guys can go ahead and skip forward and oh this one is called Radiant, which looks like this glittery, mauve type of shade. Let's see. I uh, maybe not. I'm probably not going to wear this one. But, um, yeah, it kind of looks like a grandma color. And I am not going to be wearing no brown sugar looking like, you know, brown sugar from, like, um, Buxom. That's what it kind of reminds me of. And it has, like, super shimmer in it. I don't know. I'm not a fan of that color. But maybe, like, if I put it on top of something else. I don't know. Because, you know what? I'll probably use it later on and I'll eat my words. Because that's what always happens to me. I always eat my words later. Second is Pout, which is this <gasps> cool tone pink. It's almost like um blue lavender type of pink. And I love this color. You guys have no idea how much I love it. Um, I do have the lipstick, and now I have the gloss, so I'm really excited about that. The lipstick I really, really love, so I can imagine how much I'm going to love this. Uh -huh. um, there we go. Can we see it, ladies and gents? Right there. It's like that cool tone, lavender-y type of pink shade, and it is just amazing. What is this? Tease. Ooh, this almost kind of reminds me of like more low, but probably more liquidy. No, it doesn't remind me more low at all. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, this is like if more low was iced down. <laughs> wow, wow, I'll be here all night, guys. <laughs> but that's what it looks like right there. It's pretty sheer. I think maybe like on top of the lip liner, it'll look pretty. Next one is called Luster, and I think this is just a luster shade, probably to put on top of something else. Yep, it's a clear gloss with lots and lots of glitter, which I can probably give this to like my eight-year-old niece because I'm not eight years old and I don't wear glitter like that. But that's the shade right there, clear, clear with glitter. And last but not least, this is Ruby. Ruby. And I like this because there's no shimmer in it. I love glosses that don't have shimmer in it. But that's what it looks like. It's like a basic red. It's like a cherry red type of gloss. So for those of you who like cherry red glosses like that there you go found one for you to add to your collection <laughs> it guys oh oh no look i got this bad boy right here this is the garnier fructis triple nutrition nutrient spray dual action nourish plus shine three nourishing oils avocado olive and almond for dry damaged hair 
I don't think I had to read all that, but <laughs> I did. And I like things like this because my hair, I don't know. I've been using this new shampoo and conditioner and I'm like the idiot who started using it considering the fact that like I know what type of hair I have. But I feel like the new one I've been using is just making my hair feel like really like dry almost in a way. And oh, I feel like my neck looks dirty. That's weird. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, I feel like it's just making my hair like super dry. And I don't know, like I just want to start using Garnier Garnier Fructis again because I used to use them before and it made my hair feel really good and really soft, but then I stopped because I've been trying to like experiment with other ones. Oh, I know why I stopped because I used the, um, I think it's called the Triple Action by them and it's a green shampoo and conditioner and oh my gosh. When I would use it, my forehead and, well, not my, yeah, my forehead and my scalp would get so greasy. There was just, like, no, ugh, it was so gross. And, like, when my hair would dry, it would look so greased up from, like, the scalp to, like, right here. And then the rest of my hair would just, like, arr, like, straw. Ew, it, like, just defeated the purpose. Like, my ends was just not kicking it. And my roots were just like, ah. But, um, yeah. So, I wanted to get this because I really need to start nourishing up my hair again. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching this haul. I am sorry if this was, like, extremely painful for you guys to watch. But I'm just really happy. I am actually, like, really happy. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like just so good, you know, real good. And I hope that I can give this energy off to you guys through this video. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.